Good morning. What must the prophet do when God gives him his assignment? Today we're shifting because we're trying to follow the chronological uh, flow of the events of the book of Jeremiah. We're going up to chapter 26, and we're looking at verses 1 to 6 in that chapter. In the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, this word came from the Lord, saying, Thus says the Lord, Stand in the court of the Lord's house, and speak to all the cities of Judah, which come to worship in the Lord's house, all the words that I command you to speak to them. Do not diminish a word. Perhaps everyone will listen and turn from his evil way, that I may relent concerning the calamity which I purpose to bring on them because of the evil of their doings. And you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord, If you will not listen to me to walk in my law, which I have set before you, to heed the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I sent to you, both rising up early and sending them, but you have not heeded, then I will make this house like Shiloh and will make this city a curse to all the nations of the earth. A prophet must be faithful. He needs to deliver the exact message that God gives him to deliver. The people need to be told exactly what God requires the prophet to tell them. He is to speak all the words that he's given. He can't smooth them down or add velvet or leave pieces out. He's got to give the, the full message all the way through. Not even one word, not even one command can be left out. He desires that everyone will hear him, that they'll turn from their wicked ways and repent. And then he'll be able to relent from the calamity that he is about to inflict upon Israel. So that's what he wants, that's what he wants, but it's not often what God gets. It's that free will that kind of is always involved in the mixture there, the free will that he gave us, and he doesn't overrun it. When God sends prophets, they are to be heard. His commands are not optional. We get to choose whether we obey them, but we must hear them. He wants us to know what he's revealing, and he wants us to make our own moral choices about what he's revealing. Hearing is essential to turning, because it's by hearing the word that our heart is especially softened. And do you know what else is true? It is when we hear his word that we attain to our most rational decision-making. Maybe you remember Psalm 36, verse 9, that says, In his light, that is, in God's light, we see light. We best understand things when we are hearing from him and when his Holy Spirit is guiding our thoughts. He doesn't make our choices for us, but when he's guiding us, we're going to make the best kind of decisions, the most rational kind of decisions that can be made. Now, the emergency that's faced by God's people is so great, it's so startling that even Jeremiah might be tempted to to round a corner here, but God tells him, no, do not diminish, not, not even a word, not even a small portion of this. Give them the, the whole message. And so this is actually not only a test for the people, it's actually a test for Jeremiah. Will he be a faithful servant of God? Will he be a faithful prophet? This message has to be given in full, and it needs to be heard fully. So what are the people going to do? We'll understand the answer to that question better the next few mornings as we follow on through the chapter. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, here's another example, another case, Lord, where uh, there is a, a difficult message to be delivered, and you have called Jeremiah to do it. Looks like he's doing it. Lord, help us to be faithful. You've called your, your believers today to give a, a definite and clear message. It's to be given with kindness and love, and yet with, with an urgency, yet with, with an authority. And Lord, your church has not perhaps done as well in this as we, we wish we would have. Please help us, Lord. Help us to grow more of a spine. Help us to also be with kindness and all the love that Jesus has, Lord. Would you give that to us? Help us to have wisdom and guide us, Lord, so that we can give your message, just like Jeremiah gave his message fully. Help us, Lord, to hear it and give it fully and, re and react to it in the way that we should as those who've been redeemed by Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. Strengthen us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, what must the prophet do when God gives him his assignment? Diminish not a word. Same for you and me. And on that high note, begin this day trusting in the Lord. You have a wonderful day serving Jesus.